In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to progress from doing standard pull-ups to being able to do chest to bar pull-ups. So that way you can build up explosive pulling strength to master skills such as the muscle-up, even weighted muscle-ups or even the front lever. Starting off with the first exercise, we're going to be doing banded chest to bar pull-ups. So we're going to find ourselves a thin resistance band. I recommend you to start off with a black band and when using resistance band this is going to help us to bridge the gap between the body weight pull-ups and the chest bar pull-ups because when we're using the bands it's going to take some weight away from our body therefore allowing us to get used to this range of motion of us actually touching our chest to the bar so we're going to start by wrapping the black band around the bar and then we're going to place both feet into the band with both feet together, legs straight, arm fully locked out. Then we're going to squeeze our core, squeeze our legs, squeeze our glutes. This is very important. Drive the elbows down into the ground, touch your chest to the bar, and we're going to exhale as we go up. This is very important because when we know how to breathe properly, we're going to be able to generate more power as well as improving our endurance. So the goal is to be able to do four reps for three sets. And once you are able to do this comfortably with the black band, then you progress down to doing the red band. And again, we'll do this for four reps for three sets. And then eventually you'll be able to do the chest to bar pull-ups without using any band assistance. Moving on to the next progression is the Australian chest to bar pull-ups. This is a unique one. Pretty much the Australian pull-up is much more easier than doing the standard pull-ups. And when we do the Australian pull-ups, we're gonna try to touch our chest to the bar while also holding a false grip. So whilst our body is in a upward inclined slope like this, it's gonna be much more easier because now our weight is gonna be distributed to your legs. So when doing this, you wanna grip onto the bar using a false grip. So grip onto the bar at about shoulder width apart, rotate your wrist forward so that your knuckles are facing forward. Body in a straight line, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, body in a straight line from head to toe. Then we're gonna drive the elbows down into the ground and we're gonna to touch your chest to the bar, exhale as we go up, and then inhale as we go down, so and then come back. Now, the position and the angle of yourself is gonna be very important. The steeper your angle is, the easier the Australian chest to bar pull up, because more weight will be distributed to your legs, therefore allowing you to do the chest to bar pull up much more easier. Now, if we were to make the angle a bit more flatter, this is gonna be much more harder, because then more weight will be transferred to your upper body muscles therefore making it harder to pull so i want you to choose an angle that is appropriate where you're able to touch your bar for at least four to five reps so we're going to do eight to ten reps of this exercise for three sets moving on to the third exercise is weighted pull-ups when we're doing weighted pull-ups we're going to add extra resistance on top of our body weight therefore forcing our muscle fibers to activate more muscles therefore we really improve our explosive pulling strength so start off with as simple as 5 kg or 5 pounds and try to do that for 4 reps for 4 sets. You want to pick a weight where you can do 4 reps for 4 sets at around about 70% of your max capacity. Just so that way you can do it with enough volume and eventually increase the weight. So you can go up from 5 pounds to 7.5 to 10 and same with kilos, 5 kilos to 7.5 to 10 and gradually apply progressive overload from there. Moving on to the final exercise is the weighted chin above the bar hold. Ideally we use weight, if not you can just do body weight and essentially what this will do is it will improve our strength isometrically. So we're going to be engaging our back muscles, our biceps, our rear shoulders. Those are the muscles that are used when doing chest to bar pull up. So we're going to grip onto the bar or back shoulder width apart with the weight strapped between our legs and we're going to jump up with our chin clearing the bar and we're going to hold this between 8 to 15 seconds and the key is to bring our elbows in towards the center of our chest to recruit the bicep squeezing your core keeping your feet together knees together and legs straight if possible and we're just going to hold this squeezing it now this is a form of isometric contraction meaning that your muscles are actually being actively engaged without it lengthening or shortening so we've got obviously the eccentric, the concentric, and now we're working on the isometric. So do this for eight to 15 seconds for three sets. So that is it, four of these exercises. Do it in this particular order. And if you were able to accomplish this two to three sessions a week, then you'd be good. 
So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you do find value from this. If you do, please give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments how you find this video, if you find it useful or not. And if you'd like to be personally coached by me, I'll leave a link of that down below in the bio. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.